What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Masquerade. Hey, uh, I'm sorry, I'm kind of dark. Whatever. What up? It's your boy Masquerade, and we're going to be working on um, a little bit of uh, mastery right now. So, uh, right now, we're looking at the uh, a finished product of something that we're um, doing here. In the background, you hear my daughter playing. <laughs> So right now, uh, we're on the uh, finished mixing version. And that's what we're looking at, the finished version of... Uh, so we're looking at the finished version of, of, of one of my singles that I would like to put out. And basically I'm spreading it and going like this. And you see that... What I'm doing is I'm pressing control left arrow and that will bring everything closer into view and if I press control right arrow that will spread it out a little bit. If I press control down it'll make the um, tracks wider so that I can see what's going on. But what I've done is I've finished mixing and so my next um, order of business is to master it and right now I'm mastering mixing and mastering my songs in the order that I want the album to come out so today we're gonna work on mastering so what we need to do is um, we need to go to file and press well first of all you need to make sure none of the regions are um, selected then we need to go to file um, export go to audio then audio down here make sure that your bit depth is at 16 because that's what CDs are recorded at and actually you don't have to do that you can keep it at 32 um, until you're ready to go down to uh, to you're ready to make the master the master the actual master track has to be at 16 alright so in mine they're all in my music folder and I have my new album called I Am Masquerade and I'm going to this folder and I'm making a, I made a folder called originals and this is where my non-mastered but my final mix product will go and I'm gonna call this my heart wanna dance and export so now um, you're gonna see down at the bottom you can't see down at the bottom but it's gonna be mixing down the audio and it probably takes cool thing about this one as compared to Pro Tools as Pro Tools you have to listen to the whole song mixed down and Sonar you don't have to listen to it mixed down you just press you know you just go to audio and make whichever one you want and then it just mix it down itself and it doesn't take you don't have to wait the whole three minutes maybe like a minute and a half the reason that this one is taking so long because I used a lot of um, plugins and stuff and so the more plugins you use the more information that it has to process and so therefore it takes longer so uh, I'm gonna be back after it's done mixing 